I hope you're wearing protective gear because you're about to see how shockingly easy it is to work with contractors with PathPoint. Starting out in the class of business page, we have scrolled down to the electrical work section. Uh, we're able to click on the class code if we want to see a little bit more of information about what's covered, what's not covered, and how to include other operations the insured may have. Now that we've got the class selected, we'll click into the subcontractor page. If our insured is using subcontractors and we select yes, then we'll classify the type of work that they're doing, answer some questions about how they're working with the subs. If they are not, then this is the easiest part of our day. We just click now. In the next section is general information. Just what it sounds like. It's actually pulling a lot of this from some accords that I started uh, to get this application jump started for us. We're just filling in a few blanks here. You can scroll down. This should all be pretty familiar and standard looking. In the eligibility section, it's really just trying to define the scale and the scope of the work the insured is doing. It'll ask a bunch of questions, but we are asking everything we need to know up front. Most of them are no, but we do throw in a yes here and there, so make sure you're paying attention. And then we'll click next. Now, if your insured needs excess liability, you can select yes, and in as few as three additional questions, you can quote up to five million limits of excess liability. I can't even order a pizza that fast. Here in the exposures page, we are just going to make sure all the class codes add up to 100% for the exposure. Real easy when there's only one. I'm not that great at math. You are able to add multiple codes, though, to cover all the work in it the account is doing uh, through our platform. Now we click next. We've got the policy period and all the limits in front of us. We are able to change these, but they do come set to the one mil, two mil that most of our contractors go with. We're also able to add the primary non-contributory, waiver of subrogation, additional insured for completed ops, all up front so that when you quote it, that price is the final price. And you can use the additional info box to request in marine coverage, specific certificate holder language, additional insured requirements, you name it. You can also add supplemental apps, loss histories, expiring policies, pictures, resumes, uh, any documents that will help us get this quoted for you accurately the first time are great to include here. And then you also don't have to keep track of a bunch of emails back and forth. In the review page, it's exactly what it sounds like. Looks like all of our I's are dotted and T's are crossed. So we're going to click into the markets page and get some insight into PathPoint's appetite on this account. You can see here all of our markets will include this. We know that the quotes we're getting back are really the best available for our client. So we'll use a little TV magic and see the quotes that have already been processed and populated for us. Usually takes about five seconds, but I didn't want to make you wait on this video. And looks like Nautilus is actually edging out the competition a little bit, so we'll select in. Now you can see with Nautilus, we've actually got the Accords pre-filled for us. Uh, we've got the Nautilus quote letter, the PathPoint cover letter. So all the documents that we need to present this to the insured are at our fingertips. Since we've selected this option, we'll click that button. And now it's getting us set to handle all the subjectivities. So we've got uh, the ability to e-sign. We can also download them and sign if we prefer. To do the e-sign, we'll click Start. We'll put in the insured's contact name, my friend Ron, and Submit. And now we're able to start the e-signing process. So I'll click Sign. I accept my signature and I consent to using electronic signature, start signing, and then insert next signature. Boom. Literally could not be easier. Now the agent has signed. Now we'll get the e-sign link for the applicant, upload that, accept, consent, start signing, insert next signature, click, click click. You can do this on your phone. You can do it at a job site. You can do it on a roof. And now we're ready to request binding. That's all it took.
five, less than five minutes. Boom. 